Howdy y'all, this is Trinity from Monogram here with a new blind bag review video. This is for our Universal Vault Horror Series 2 collection. This one has a lot of awesome posters and characters from your favorite scary movies from Universal. So in this video I'll give you a close up look at all 11 of the collectible keychains. So let's get started! All right, so first up here, we have this alien lady from They Live. I believe she's a newscaster in the movie. To be honest, I didn't do my homework for this video, but I'd love to see all of these movies. You know, there's just so much stuff to watch. So little time, feels like. But I just love the colors and the details. Love the feathering in the hair. It's always a look. And here's the back view of the alien lady from They Live. Looking fierce and fine. Hmm. Here we have this super awesome Good Guys toy box. Or Good Guys doll. Um, from the Child's Play franchise. This is Chucky's original packaging. But he already looks a little different. <laughs> It says, good guys, he wants you for a best friend. And then there's all these cool details at the bottom. These look like, um, they look like collectible cards. Like, he could be a construction worker or a cowboy or a baseball player. You know, you could be one of the good guys with Chucky. <laughs> and here is the back view of the good guys toy box says good guys he wants you for a best friend and there's adorable Chucky waving at you it's like how would you not want him as a best friend he's the best oh and here we have the they live poster how cool is that it's cuz the premise of it is this guy has access to these sunglasses where when he looks through them he can see the truth of reality which is that most of the things around us are just weird <laughs> and here's the back view of the they live poster 3d foam bag clip badge that we call it we call them these badge style posters is our working title for these but yeah, it's just a great composition, and it's just so fun, and it just adds a campy twist to these already fabulous, fun movies. I'm honestly obsessed. Ooh, and here we have the Child's Play 2 poster, which shows Chucky about to decapitate this helpless jack-in-the-box with these very long scissors. Um, I love the detail of his smile and his little freckles. And it says, sorry Jack, Chucky's back. Plain and simple. And here is the back view of the Child's Play 2 poster. Again, sorry Jack, Chucky's back. I just love all the extra details showing the back view of the poster. It's just so fun. Ugh, this makes me want to go to Universal, <laughs> but that's me every day. <laughs> oh, and here we have this awesome 3D poster for Halloween 2. And the slogan is, every day is Halloween, which is a mantra that I live by. Honestly, every day is Halloween, if you think about it. And I just love all of the the lining on the pumpkin and I just like how it looks so like held harmless and cute in this 3D foam style even though it's like such a horrifying premise though the Halloween franchise with uh, Michael Myers that dude wilds and again it says every day is Halloween and it shows the back of the pumpkin how festive I love it Ooh, and here we have, this is the Seed of Chucky. His name escapes me, but he's the child 
born of Chucky and, um, what's her name? Faye Valentine? Whatever Chucky's bride's name is. She's cute. She's cool. <laughs> I just need to see these movies. I'm sorry. I'm just such a scaredy cat, naturally, but I don't know. At the same time, I'm really drawn to, to horror iconography and characters. Yeah, I love his outfit, too. The purple t-shirt with the black long sleeve and then black shorts. Black cargo shorts, to be exact. Like, this is totally something I'd rock. And here's the back view of the Seed of Chucky. Precious, precious little gift. I said Faye Valentine. I think that's the... I'm getting mixed up with Cowboy Bebop, but... Whatever the Bride of Chucky's name is. I apologize. Ooh, this one's cool. This is the poster for Shaun of the Dead. This is quite a feat that they achieved with this design. How fun. You see all of the zombie hands reaching out to the three heroes. It looks so good. You have all of these details down to Shaun's tie. You see his buddy's shovel and his homegirl's chain. <laughs> it's like they're ready to go. And here is the back view of the Shaun of the Dead poster. This one, this is a good one. They're all good, but this one's really cool because it's so detailed. Ooh. <laughs> this is kind of a, di a totally different era, different vibe. This is the poster for Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. And it's just this like 3D foam monogram style of uh, the actress. Uh, the, uh, I actually want to know. But she's just being terrorized by these birds, man. Like, I, I feel like I'm often terrorized by birds figuratively and literally man they're everywhere birds run these streets let me check the birds the birds from 1963 tippy hedron tippy hedron i heard that she it was kind of like a Shelley Duvall situation, I think, where it was like, just pushing the girl too hard, man. And it's like, for what? Like, she would have, she would have delivered regardless. But yeah, Tippi Hedren being attacked by birds, but in a 3D foam style. It's so ironic and fun. And then here's the back of the birds poster. It's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and here we have Homeboy from Shaun of the Dead. Um, after he turns, I think he turns into a zombie and he's like chained up towards the end of the movie, just being restrained. And it's just sad to think that like your friends could like turn and you like love them, but like <sighs> there's only so much you can do once your friends turn into zombies. All you can do is just be there for them when you can. And then here's the back view of the buddy from Shaun of the Dead as a zombie. Cool. I love the hair too. I love the texture in the hair. It's really cute. Oh, how fun. Here we have our 3D foam style badge poster of an American werewolf in London. This movie I've probably seen the most of out of all of these. Um, I've only seen the first Halloween. I haven't seen Halloween 2 yet, but I get the premise. Anyway, an American werewolf in London is probably responsible for that generation's first furry awakenings. Okay, I said it. And I, I believe that to be true. I think the studies show that this movie probably caused a lot of furry awakenings. Oh, I love how the moon is 3D. That's so cool. And the details in it, it's just so, f this is so awesome. 
And there's the back. I love that it's very simplistic and stark. Like, movie posters are such an amazing art form, I gotta say. Just, like, great graphic design. Oh, and last but not least, we have Michael Myers holding a scalpel, bleeding from his eyes. <laughs> I love how his arm is like out, like he's like, I'm here, deal with it. <laughs> like, this is so funny. And he still maintains his amazing William Shatner hair. <laughs> This thing's got everything. All of the little details on his jumpsuit, tears of blood, a scalpel, like, it's just specific enough and just, just recognizable enough to just be a timeless, a timeless collectible, truly. This one, this is the one. <laughs> he has his little shoes. I'm just gobsmacked at the details in the scalpel, too. It's, like, so vivid. <laughs> this is too much fun. Who's ready for Horror Nights? Come on, let's go. So here they are. All 11 of the fabulous and ominous and kitschy, cute, campy, fun 3D foam bag clips from our Universal Vault Horror Series 2 collection. This came out amazingly. I have to say, I'm super impressed by the design and the execution. Be sure to look out for these at your local gift or retailer store or online. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment, engage, you know, inform me, school me on all of my ho uh, horror ignorance. <laughs> And um, please subscribe to Monogram TV. Um, just a little soapbox moment because I googled the birds and the whole Tippy Hedron drama, and it's it just goes to show that it's like you can make great art without hurting people in real life. And the whole thing with like life imitating art, art imitating life, like great, amazing, beautiful things happen when you know the difference, but you still find the joy and the balance of dark themes, but also taking care of each other. Cause it's like, filmmaking is like, it's a huge responsibility. Anyway, <laughs> just wanted to say that, you know, um, this is an amazing collection. Universal is um, awesome for, you know, maintaining all of these amazing IPs. And I personally appreciate them. <laughs> So, um, I wish you all a happy day. Again, thank you for watching this video. Peace out.